the U.S. Air Force USAF, on September 14 received the first five Boeing T-7A Red Hawk aircraft. The aircraft was received at Edwards Air Force Base in California and will begin flight tests soon. The five aircraft are part of the USAF's Engineering, Manufacturing and Development AMD, program. The T-7A is claimed to be the most advanced training aircraft in its class to replace approximately 400 USAF Northrop T-38 Talon supersonic jet trainers which have been training aircraft for more than 60 years. Boeing, in collaboration with Saab from Sweden, was awarded a contract worth 9.2 billion US dollars in 2018 to produce the T-7A Red Hawk. Previously in April, Airspace Review reported that the development of the T-7A Red Hawk advanced trainer jet was still experiencing a number of problems, so initial low-level production LRP, could only be carried out in February 2025. This means that this trainer jet can only be produced 6.5 years after Boeing won the initial contract to supply the T-7A in 2018. USAF explained that the delay in the T-7A production schedule was due to several issues related to aircraft safety that had not been completed. One of them is related to the problem of the ejection seat. USAF added that the first aircraft of the new production series could be delivered to the USAF as early as December 2025. This production delay will also result in a delay in the initial operational capability IOC schedule which was originally scheduled for 2024. Most likely, the new IOC can be achieved in 2026. Another impact, the USAF must invest to extend the service life of the T-38 Talon trainer jet which has been used for 60 years. As a result of these problems, the use of the T-38 had to be extended. The USAF also had to fund structural modifications to the T-38 in the Pacer Classic 3 program along with improvements to the aircraft's avionics. The USAF is spending $125.3 million US dollars for the 2024 fiscal year in this regard. As is known, the USAF has chosen the T-7A Red Hawk as an advanced training jet to replace the T-38. A total of 351 T-7A units will be acquired including 46 simulator units.